Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio, and it's Stack Your Stash Day. I'm super happy you're here to do this with me today. We're gonna do a little stare, uh, a little share. Excuse me, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit, and a lot of Stack Your Stash. So, anyway, I'm gonna show you some things that I finished, and then we'll move on to doing the Stack Your Stash. So, hang in there. I'll be right back with you in just a second. So here we go. Uh, I hope you're all doing really well. How is everybody? Are you good? Are you healthy? Are you safe? Are you doing okay with the different storms? Everybody good? I hope so. So anyway, um, today, as I said, we're doing the Stack Your Stash and sharing with you some of the things I've completed. So I'm gonna move the project off my desk to start because of course, you know, we don't need that there right this minute. I just wanted to catch you up on the things that we had started in our last videos and I got them completed. So this was the pouch. This was a storage pouch for your scraps. Of course, I made mine a bit fancier and it's going to be an ephemera storage pouch that I'm going to probably put in my shop. So it's not one I'm keeping for for myself because of course I can make myself all the ones I want right so I thought I would just show you she's got stickles she's got lace she's got vintage lace these are vintage right here there's vintage buttons and then it's mixed in with the new right so isn't that pretty and then you could just fill it up with ephemera and right now I am working on the ephemera that's going to go in there so that's the first thing um give me one sec here I gotta clear some runways all right, this was the other one we started in the video. I do not have it completed, but as you can see, it's gotten a lot further. It has a belly band. Uh, it's gonna have some tags, and I'm gonna finish decorating. So it's not done, but that's as far as I've gotten on that one. So I thought I'd share with you where I was at, right? What I've gotten finished so far. Unfortunately, you know, I've been busy making things for the shop, so I really haven't had time to complete anything. Now, this was a bunny stack that we were doing with Sam Pohl. And this was the first one I did. I if you remember this, we started it. I finished it, I think, by myself. And then um, we made this little folder. And I've started pieces, but again, they're not quite done yet. Oh, I did add some pretty there. Added some goodies there. It started. I will finish it. Hopefully in my next video, maybe it'll be done. Um, and we got that one. And then you'll open it up and I'll put some slips of paper in there, maybe. Something like that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So I thought this was a good little um, stack of bunnies. Uh, speaking of bunnies, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter and a great day. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But anyway, while I was thinking about it. Okay, so that's as far as I got on the bunnies. I got more work to do on them. And then I did a full video for you guys for today, a stack your stash video, making these little things. And honestly, it was a hot mess. So I I deleted an over hour, it was over an hour long video and gave up on it. I just could not get these where I wanted them to go. I didn't feel like they fit the stack your stash. They were too much, I don't know, too much work or I it's not it's too much work. I just I didn't like the video, so I got rid of it. But, of course, you know, I had to share with you what I did make um, for that video. And I thought I would just show you the little, there are these little pockets made from paper and envelopes. This one was a little mini envelope. This was made from music paper, but you can see it's wonky. <laughs> but I think that adds to the charm. And then this one was a little mini envelope. And I thought that was cute. And then this one was made, again, it's wonky, and it came from, it's the um, music paper, vintage music paper. And I used roses because, you know, I have a rose project. This was made from a bigger envelope, a vintage envelope. And, um, and this is the 1600 worm paper that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So you can see I've got some new trims and some laces and all some pretties. A lot of these laces are in the shop. Not all of them, but a few of them are in our shop. So you can go over and see what we have. This is a brand new one. This is a new one. Um, this is a new one. So I do, I'm, well, they're not in the shop yet, but they hopefully by the end of the week, you'll, hopefully we'll see this on Monday. And hopefully by, 
are planning by the end of the week to have all the new laces. So unfortunately, I did have a video to show you how to do this, but I... Oh, you guys, it was a hot, hot mess. Couldn't remember anything, couldn't find things. I just felt like I fumbled around so much. It would have just been frustrating for everybody. So I got rid of it. And I just thought I'd show you what I made from that video. So those are done. And I don't know if they'll go in the shop or not. I'm not sure if they're good enough to go in the shop. Hopefully they are. I mean, I just don't know. Or if they're going to go, I think they're going to go in a journal. So one other thing, uh, mentioning the shop. Uh, Jolene has a new vellum print kit. It's already pre-printed for you. It is to bag toppers to go on your white paper bags. These that those of you who bought these, um, she did a vellum set for you to use. So that's the pink, and it comes in three prints and the gold but just three of the gold i think before we had like six different prints or something like that more we had a lot so she just put a few in there and then we have this lovely french blue which i absolutely shabby french blue shabby pink and french blue is what we have in gold so those are your colors uh and those come pre-printed for you to put on your white baggies so i just wanted to share those with you and they are already in our shop which is um, design, journal, <clears throat> and supply on Etsy. So it's design, journal, and supply dot Etsy dot com. Okay, so if you need those for your white bags, it would look great on any color bag. Really, it would. A brown bag, a white bag, whatever you want to use. Okay, so I want to share those with you. Um, they're in the shop and ready to go. And I have one more thing. I hope you don't mind if I share this gorgeous journal that Jolene made with you. It is, this is a vintage fabric that is tufted. She did little French knots on here to create tufting. It has a nice little padding. She's got beads on the spine. She's got vintage buttons on here and some vintage lace. And she's got some of the snow um, mesh we have. We have these two in the shop. She's got a pretty thing. And she does have a little tag. You have two different tags you can choose from to put on there. And it is tied with a beautiful piece of crinkle ribbon here. So let's go over here. And when you open it up, I had to share it because I know there's a lot of you that love purple. And purple is a hard thing to find. So she used this gorgeous piece of acetate with a beautiful trim that we had in the shop. I don't know if we have any more. A beautiful handmade lavender paper digital piece from her kit and then um, some lovely charms and some lace whoops some more of that beautiful handmade paper i don't know if it's hers or someone else's and then we have beautiful things in the pockets and lots of lovely bits and pieces this is a writing journal definitely but it's also got a lot of beauties this little picture i actually took some of these pictures her daughter took some she took and some i took for this particular purple kit this is gorgeous to wrap around and then you have a lovely bookmark with some lace at the top and goodies and bling lots of pretty pretties that you can find in our shop um if you want to make something similar but why do that when you can just buy this? Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I just love what she did here. These are her butterflies. Flowers from her kits. Another piece of the acetate. Here's another a signature. She's got a beautiful little pocket, lace pocket with gorgeous flowers and a pretty little envelope with something in it. I'm not showing you every little thing because we want to leave something to surprise the person who is getting it. You know. You want a purple on the inside, lavender. Actually, purple and lavender is what this is. There's a lot of lavender and purple in here. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, so if you're interested, it is in our shop, and you can go get it. Lovely gift, especially as Mother's Day's coming up, guys. If you got a mom that likes purple, lavender, any of these colors, you might want to consider it for her. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you guys can see this gorgeous, gorgeous kit. I mean, get, excuse me, journal, gorgeous journal made from her kits. Isn't this beautiful? Another piece of that beautiful. I love this. This is so gorgeous. Such a pretty trim. I'm not sure, but I think we're sold out of that. 
I don't think we have any more in the shop. It was a limited edition. A lot of our laces are limited. So if you say something you like, get it because it will not be there the next time you go back. Okay, so, but it's nice, you know, that you can get what you need if you need it. I'm gonna put these on here. I love how she tied it with this. This was a great loop idea. I gotta remember that for my own journals. I love the way she did this. I'm trying hard to put it back the way she had it. I'm sure she'll go through it before someone buys it and make sure it's tied perfectly and all the good stuff. So there you have a beautiful, beautiful journal by Jolene. There we are. So I wanna share that with you before we go going on our day. There are lots and lots and lots of new things in our shop. And there are lots of new things going into the shop by next weekend. My dangles, butterflies, paper clips, um, whale tails, lace, books. We I picked up vintage books last few days. And I want to get those into the shop. So we've got all kinds of, I've got ruffles. I have vintage fabric ruffles. So we've got lots going in there. So keep an eye on the shop if you're interested. Okay, commercial over, back to work. So today I came up with this. I think it's my own idea, but I'm, I watched so many videos, I'm not sure. So as you know, we all like to make pockets with envelopes. Well, I decided that I would make a wrap accordion pocket for my journals. You could do it two ways. You can wrap it or you can just put it on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So there's two here and I'll show you how we make these. There's two accordions here and two here, right? So what you can do is you can wrap it around the page either this way, depending upon how you decorate it, and glue it on so you'd have a pocket in the back and then you'd have two more pockets so it'd be like triple pocket you could do it that way or if you want to decorate it a different way you could come in from the side because it will fit this is a standard size journal which is the five and a half you know by uh, nine I think I think that's what I have on this journal I made this one so yep five and a half by eight and a half okay kind of just depends on the paper I can get a hold of, right? So you could either put it on either way, but either way, it is this accordion fold, right? Because it'll be glued down. Let me see if I can hold it up. If you glue it down, there's got to be a way I can do this. Hold on. Let me see if I can do a paper clip to sim simulate it. No, 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 no. I need a paper clip. Hold on. Paper clip, paper clip, paper clip, paper clip. Not like I don't have a million of them on my desk, but of course they're all stuck to each other. So let's pretend it's glued in. Well, we could, maybe. Okay, we're gonna pretend that's glued in, right? So you've got it glued on, and so now you have this accordion pocket that you can use on both sides of your page, right? And oh, I wish there was a better way I could show this. Let's try it this way. Okay, that might work. See, so that's glued down and you have two accordion pockets. And if you, depending upon how you glue down, you could have a third one back there. Then you turn over your page and you've got another accordion pocket. Your other option is to add one more piece of tape. That's how I did it. Or you can glue it. And then glue it on and you have four pockets that you can put journal cards in, letters, ephemera, pictures, whatever you want to put in it. Okay. So I think I came up with this on my own. Now we all have seen lots of wraps, but I haven't seen any accordion wraps. So it doesn't mean they're not out there. They probably are because there's a million of us doing this. So could be, but this popped into my head last night at about 2 a.m. I had to get up and do it, <laughs> wake myself up and go, okay, let's go fix this. So I'm going to show you how I did this. And I think this one, originally I was going to make it a four pocket pocket. So I am gonna, well, let me start with one. Let me show you. Okay, here's one right here. So you're gonna take two envelopes. You're gonna close them. If they have sticky, of course you can use the sticky or you can glue it, tape it, whatever your heart desires to close it up, right? And then you want your two plain together. You're gonna turn it up, right? 
and you're gonna go like this. So the first thing we're gonna do though, before we do that, is we are going to fold this in half as evenly as we can. You could score this if you prefer to score. I don't necessarily feel like I need a score for this, but if it was any thicker, maybe I would, you know. Let's go like this. So we're putting the side that does not have the opening and we're going to push it all the way up, make it as even as we can. And we're gonna burnish that down. Alrighty, then we are going to put them together. Now the one thing, because you're putting one inside of the other, we're gonna need to do some cutting. So before we do that to keep it from moving all around, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna, I'm gonna use tape, but you can use glue. I love to use the double-sided tape, but if you don't have any, glue is fine. Just make it a narrow strip and do not make it um, go completely to the top or completely to the bottom. We kind of want to have it sort of in the middle. You see what I'm saying? And then we're going to pull our side apart. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to line this up. So I'm gonna sit one inside the other, get them side by side. I'm not gonna let that one touch that one until I got it all in there the way I want it. Hopefully I have it in there the way I want it. If I don't, well, we can cut. Okay, so we've got that. The reason I did that is so it won't move around when I go to cut. Now, if I didn't do a good job, this is where I can fix it, right? Because I didn't do a good job. So we're gonna just take off the very edge. Okay, we're gonna cut that off. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing to this side. And we're going to add tape or a strip of glue. Um, and I'm going to put that down on there. You put it in the middle. Do not go all the way all over the whole thing because you won't get the accordion look that you want. It won't open properly. So you'll have just flat pockets, which is not the idea here. I don't have any fingernails, so it's <laughs> really hard. Okay. And we now need to trim this one. Now, what's going to happen is once you trim it, see, they're going to be two different sizes. So I'm going to put the other one close to it so that I can bump right up to it and hopefully cut at the same height. And we should have one, two, three, and four. Now, if you are finding that your envelopes didn't close for whatever reason, this is a good time to go and make sure they, oh, whoops, first time I've glued today. What are you guys up to? What's new? How was your Easter? I hope it was beautiful. Hope you had a lovely, beautiful Easter. We didn't do anything at all. We just stayed home and relaxed. Well, I didn't relax. I'm actually making a video and it's Easter today. So that's why I wished you a happy Easter because I'm actually doing this video on Easter day. Now, sometimes it is better to get your envelopes going the same way, your flaps, but this one I did not. So, just be careful you don't close your pockets. I'm just closing the end of these because the glue on this did not go to the end, so. Probably sometimes it's better to just close it using glue. But really the only part you have to worry about is just right at the top. So, you know, it's not like super duper important. And then if we want this to be four pockets and not wrap it around a page, but glue it to the page or use it as a standalone piece, Standalone go means that you put it in a pocket or you are doing um, like a paper clip it in or stick it in a pocket or put it in a tuck. Now I'm going to close up the whole thing, right? So this is just closing up the whole thing. And what you get is four pockets. We have accordion fold and then in your journal you would glue it 
to the page and you're gonna have, when you glue it, which I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper clip on the bottom so I could show you it's gonna, where'd it go? Oh, it ate, my journal ate my, my journal ate my pocket. Mom, my journal ate my pocket, I swear. Okay, so you're gonna have your four pockets. This is gonna be glued down and you'll have four pockets to pull out. It's not super thick, it adds a little bit of bulk, but you wouldn't have the paper clip there. So it's fine. Now, for covering these, you have two choices. If you use a white envelope or a colored envelope, you're going to see the envelope, right? But you can just decorate the front if you're going to glue it on, or you decorate the front and the back and leave the inside white. Or you have the option of covering all of your envelopes, you know, all sides of your envelope so that you don't see any white. That is totally individual, up to you what you wanna do, right? So you have two versions. You have the wrap, and then you have the four accordion pockets. So you could either use it as a standalone or wrap it on. Depends what you would like to do, right? Okay, so I'm going to do one more. I don't think I'm going to do another white one. I think I'm going to skip that. I grabbed some coffee dyed envelopes because I thought these might be fun for one of my vintage journals. So they don't have a sticky strip I don't think so I'm or they did but it looks like they came off in the coffee dyeing process so I am going to just use some glue to close these just like this but honestly I had to tell you because of the coffee dye maybe it's the acidity in the coffee it sort of resists the glue I've noticed it resists the glue um, and I've seen other designers having the same issue, so I know it's not just me. It has to do, I think, with the acidity of the coffee or tea that you're using. Especially if you're maybe using a flavored coffee, that might make a difference, you know? So, kind of depends. Oh, I'm hot today, guys. Oof. It's not hot, it's just me. <sighs> had a big breakfast so I'm probably just over full let me get some soda here I need some caffeine I didn't sleep last night so I need some caffeine I was in creative mode in my brain all right now we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna fold this in half and this is gonna be my front. I don't want the window, but I love the coffee dyed, right? So for me, it's the color of the envelope that I'm after, not an envelope front uh, that has a window. Don't care about the window. We're not gonna need the window. We're gonna hide that window. Now you could keep it. If you would like to have this as your front and you just want to collage around that and cut it open, that's up to you, okay? But I'm not going to do that. All right. See, this did not, you saw me put glue on it and it did not take. Sometimes I feel like it's better to use my Fabri-Tac. It does a better job. Let's make sure this one closed up. Yeah, it did. Okay. I think we're okay there. But for some reason, this one did not close. All right. I kind of like want it to, I mean, this dries immediately. So it's like, oh, I don't understand what just happened. Right. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make this my front. And I'm going to assume that this is going to be a wraparound. So I'm going to put just a tiny little bit there. And I'll put the two envelopes together over here. Because you're going to glue that down on a page. So you won't see it. Now you're going to put these together like this. Oops, let's see. Wait a minute. I got them going the wrong way. Um, hmm. How am I going to do that? I don't want that big old envelope back there. I guess I have to have that envelope back there, don't I? Okay. Well, I'll just cover it. It's no biggie. We can do that. Now, because I was going to glue this for you, but because it's resisting my glue today, I'm going to use the tape. So we'll do that. All right. So let's, this is not going to take, I'm going very slowly, right? This would go in lickety split. I think I made the first one in about two seconds, right? When I was doing it, um, 
by myself. So I'm gonna try to get it to be even before I hold it down and hope that the tape works this time. <laughs> yeah, I'll cut it after, I think. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there and then I'll go ahead and cut both of them. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna make this as a wrap too. Now this seems like it's a little bit more narrow than It's always good to burnish down your tapes, by the way. That makes it easier to get them off and not pull them up. Sometimes it work, doesn't work, but I don't have a thumbnail. So I'm gonna grab my pokey tool because that will allow me to pick that off. Super easy daisy. Okay. All right, now we're gonna cut these on the end. You can do them with your scissors or your cutter, it's up to you. A lot of times I just use my scissors, but I thought today I would use my cutter. Yay, they're open. I don't particularly like the inside, but it's not horrible, so it's fine. Because it's coffee dyed, it's not like a dark black and white. Now I want to make sure that I cut these the same, so I'm going to fold it in half. Of course, getting it under there and getting it going is a whole other thing. Let me check my time. Cut my time, but make sure we are filming. Okay, let me make sure we're filming. Oh, we are. Okay, we're half hour in, so perfect. Gives us a little time to decorate, right? All right. I say right a lot, don't I? Gotta quit that, shoot. You know, it goes from um to okay to just a minute. <laughs> we get hooked on new words every, every week, right? And we, right, say so I said it again. Isn't that correct? <laughs> oh my goodness, let me put that up there. All right, so we have three of these. One is four pockets, one's a wrap, and this is going to wrap around. So we've got these to wrap around a page. Now, if I'm planning to do a, I'm working with a brand new beautiful kit by Uniquely Ella. She's a, a, a good friend of mine, and she sent it to me and asked me, she said, here, this is for you to play with. Will you play with it? I said, well, of course, it's right up my alley. So this is called... Uh, this is Uniquely Ella, and these, it's a tall document journal, and it's um, Essence of Spring. I guess I could show it off. Let me see. If I've got everything here. If I've got everything here, I can show you if I haven't cut too much up already. Let me just double check. Yeah. All right. So this is the kit. Let me put that there. That's part of the kit as well. I'm not on our design team. She's just a friend of mine. Not just. She's a special friend of mine. And this is her. Look, is this not me? It's French. It's documents. It's gorgeous images of ladies. Um, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I might have shown some of these pages twice. If I have, forgive me. But you get the idea, right? This is just a few of the pages. Now, she has documents, too. Let me see if I have those. I don't know if I have everything here. Let me look. Yeah, here they are. It's a very big kit. There are four kits here. So, uh, huh, I've got a lot to share with you. This was a reprint here. That's an extra, so I'll put it there. So, these are some of the document pages. Are they not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Look at these. I cannot wait to get my pinkies on these. I think I'm gonna make some kind of a tall something. Maybe journal or folder, folder or folio or something. And then we have add-on pages, which is these. Aren't these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we're back to the original because I always print a bunch of extra pages. So I went kind of fast, I know, but I don't have a lot of time, so I need to. And these are backed, so they're ready to go into a journal, except for these two I'm going to be using right now. Um, my ladies are all backed with something. I haven't decided on the rest of the pages and all that goodness, right? So let me put this back. And then there are gorgeous 
She has a gorgeous ephemera kit. Oh, I've got a lot of the ladies because you know I cut them up and do a lot of things. And then there's that beautiful page that comes with it. And what else do we have in the ephemera kit? Do we have anything else? Yes, we do. Here they are. You saw these ladies a minute ago, so you saw those. Then you have this page, and I have added pink on the back of some of the pages. And I have oh, this page, and this page, and this page. You can see there's lots of pretties too to use. There may be some more. I don't know that I have everything here, but I've got enough, you know, to get me going. So I think I have more than enough, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, these are the extras. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't get everything all mixed up because I am in the middle of doing stuff here. I love this page. It's one of my favorites. One of my absolute favorites. Okay. So let me put that in its folder so I don't get it mixed in with our project. I am tentatively working on some kind of a cover using this old, really super thick. I'd say this is about oh, over 110 pound cardstock. It's super heavy. And I was thinking about doing the cover like that if I do a folder. I'm just not sure what I want to do. It's going to be a journal, a folder, or what. Uh, I just really don't have time to do one right now, but I am planning to do something at some point. So I'm making some ephemera with her kit, which is traditionally what I do is I'll start making ephemera and then it'll lend itself to a bag or a folio or something, a pocket, a pouch or something, right? So that's how I do it. So we're going to use those today to make something with these. So let's cover these. Now, if you're doing a stack your stash, you're gonna figure out how many of these, of these do you want in your stash to use in future journals and folios and pockets and things. Um, how many do you want? And so you'll make the, as many as you think you're going to use, right? So let's do that. Now this one I know I'm gonna use for this. So I figured what I would do <clears throat> is I would cover this page with something. I don't know which end, I really like that. I could go this way too and get more. I'm just kind of looking to see what I've got here. What do I want to do? I think I'll do it this way. So let's get out our little board, <clears throat> the glue board, a clear one. And let's get out some glue. I'm almost out of this glue stick. Oh, I have a new glue stick I'm going to try. Uh, I got this Avery glue stick. I have not used it yet. Oh, let's see how it goes. See how sticky it is or isn't? Glides on pretty good. This was a recommendation by, oh man, Amazon. Oh gosh, guys, let me, hold on. Let's, yuck. <laughs> it's a soft glue stick, I just realized. Okay, I need to be careful with this one. It's not as firm as the ones I'm used to from Scotch. So I love the Scotch glue sticks so much, but we were having trouble getting them. So I thought I would try the Avery, which was the recommendation of Amazon. So I don't know. Sometimes they steer me well, and honestly, sometimes they don't. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Close it up, maybe. You know what I'm going to do? Maybe a stick up paper clip in here. See if <laughs> that's kind of hard to use like that, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can. Getting glue everywhere, you guys. Ugh. Okay, let's get this on here. I guess it really doesn't matter if it's on there perfect because I can trim it. In fact, I'm just gonna put it a little bit just wherever and then I'll trim it. I don't have to line it up, I forgot. We're doing my technique where you put it on and then you, hello, <laughs> flying paper clip. <laughs> um, except that this, doesn't move around <clears throat> very well. I'm just going to put it in the middle because I'm struggling with it. So let's try. It's a new glue stick. I'm going to, everybody, anytime you get a new product, you're going to struggle a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. So we're just going to trim this around.
Did anybody have any fun Easter plans they did? We didn't. As I said, we just stayed home. We spent the day before with our daughter. <clears throat> because the day before Easter was our daughter's birthday, Jolene. Out of Jewel Design, my business partner and my oldest child. The oldest grandchild in our entire family on both sides. So she had her birthday. I don't think I'll say how old she was. She might not want everybody to know how old she is. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's funny about age. All right. So there, that, that is covered. <clears throat> Pardon me. Allergies. Took my meds. Did everything. I inhaler the works. But I like this piece. So I'm going to put this over here. I am going to, that paper clip went flying, so I have to get another one. Just to keep it closed so that it's not in the way when I'm trying to lay this down. So we spent the day with her on Saturday. <clears throat> I got her a new TV for her room. She had a tiny little TV that she watches with her girls. And she wanted a TV mount because it was sitting on her dresser. And they really could, if they laid down in bed, they couldn't, with their mom, they couldn't really see the TV because they like to have slumber parties in her room and watch chick flicks and, you know, have time together after a busy week, especially on the weekend. And so she wanted a new bracket for her TV, but she had a tiny little TV. And my hubby said he couldn't really find a bracket for the little TV. So he bought her a bigger TV <laughs> to match the bigger bracket he could find. It was on sale, but you know. So the girls could have a slumber party and watch TV together and be able, everybody could see it laying down or sitting up, you know. So he put that up for her for her birthday and I got her a bunch of pretty things for her for the uh, shop you know, because it's out in the garage, so it's not real pretty out there. And you know us, we got to have bling or we're not happy. So I got her some bling for her. She loves purple. So I got her a pencil holder and a bunch of beautiful, like eight different pretty blingy pens. And what else did I get her? Oh, I got her an, like an embroidery stitching kit that had like special scissors and needles and needle threader and all kinds of stuff. So I got her some things that she could personally use, you know, for herself and for the shop if she wanted to, or put it in the house or put it in her room. But she took everything right out to the shop. So that was kind of what I intended. We'll see how this glue stick works. It's very mushy and I am not used to mushy. I'm used to sticky, but not mushy. So we'll see how this goes uh, and if it sticks well. I don't know anything about this glue, so I'm not going to recommend it till I've tried it for a while. I still have a few more of my sticks of Scotch Create and the other Scotch Permanent, but I didn't want to use those. I want right away. I wanted to just see what this one was like, so I thought, well, today I would be a good day to do it. So now we have front and back covered, so no matter what page of the journal you put it on, you have that, and now we're going to decorate. Okay, so... Now, if we were doing a plain one, like say this, let's see, which one's this? Okay, and we wanted to collage. I told you one day I would teach you how to do this. You would use a book page and a music page. Now, and then a printed page. And you would place them in quadrants on here, meaning, okay, let's say this is your printed page, all right? You might put this, let's say, down one side, let me see if I could do this. We'll just go ahead and do it so I can show you how I do it. It goes on nicely. We'll just see if it's going to stay there, right? Let's put this on here. Okay, so we put it on like that and trim it. This is how you can do a very simple, basic decorating collage or layers. Like I consider it layering. I don't know if it's considered collage or not because it's just something that I have always done. I think I learned this from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. I think I did. I think this is, and if it didn't come from Tina, pardon me, but I'm almost 100% sure, 99.9, .9, that I learned this from Tina many, many, many years ago. She had a video on this. 
when I first started and I was so thankful because I had the same problem as you. I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. So you would go like that. Then if you have book page, let me see, what do I have? And music page. So you would want to use different colors, if you can, different tones. I don't know what to tell you if you don't have those. Just make sure it's three different papers of any kind. Okay, we'll say that. How about if we say that? Like this one. Okay, so we would add this next. Let's see, is that as wide? It is. Let me show you. You can rip, you can cut, you can do whatever you want. This paper is very old. It's from the 1800s. This one even might be a 1700 paper from Italy. I got these from Rachel at Roxy Creations. You know I'm not throwing that out. This is rag paper, so there's no way. All right. Now, the next thing you would do is possibly, you could make it the same length, but the goal is to change your lengths. So... I would definitely cut it, rip it, tear it. You can make it uneven or you can make it even. I just want to make sure I didn't do something weird there. And you would glue it on. And you would glue it. It can go over the other piece, not go over the other piece. It's totally up to you. I am going to ink my edges before I go any further. I should have inked this one before I put it on and I didn't do it. If you're an inker, do that now. You'll see why in a minute. This is a very good formula for learning basics of layering and your, you can also use it, works for collage as well. Small mini collage, not maybe a really big one, but. I'm gonna go a little bit off the paper because I noticed I have a corner that's missing and it's gonna show. Yeah, I think I'm going to use just a regular glue on this. Hold on. There we are. Give me a minute. This should not leave lines in my paper. I noticed the uh, art glitter glue does on these vintage, really old antique papers. Absolutely does. I'm going to trim that from the back side. Remember I taught you? Turn it over. All right. Now. We want one more thing on there. We need another element. So if it's not going to be paper, how about if we make it music paper? Because we want three different types of paper. I'm going to clean this one up. Nice and slow. That can go in the garbage. I'll probably cut that off. And you can put that over it longer or move it back a little bit so it's not so dead even, right? That's kind of what I'm trying to say. I'm actually gonna use my scissors because I'm afraid of damaging this. It's so fragile that if I rip it, I just think it's gonna be a hot mess, right? I don't even know. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go here. And again, I'm gonna just use this glue instead of the, the glue stick because I'm afraid of ripping that paper. It's so delicate. And sometimes glue sticks will tear up your papers. And I'm gonna put a little on this edge. And I like the treble clefts, so I am gonna put this right at the corner and go like this. Okay, gently put it down. Okay, now you have done a little mini layering slash collage, whatever you want to call it. It's, like, it's technically, as far as I know, this is layering. Because a collage would be a whole big paper with a whole lot of stuff. But, I mean, it just kind of depends on what you want to call it. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to use some ladies. So, I'm going to open my giant book here. You probably can't see it. I have it a little bit off screen. I'm looking for the ladies I've already pre-cut out. Guess what? They're not in that book. I forgot. You can use a flower. You could use really anything you want. Um, 
maybe instead of a lady, if you want to wait one second, I will get something different. Hold, please. I will return. Oh. After I throw everything on the floor. <laughs> oh, you know. I can't find my flowers. I'm looking for my flowers. I don't know where they went. And of course, I'm busy knocking everything on the floor. Oh, you guys, where are my flowers? My Tim flowers. I have Tim Holtz flowers, like tons of them. Huh. I got butterflies. <laughs> Hold on. I can't find them. Well, that's weird. I found all my other ones. Oh, come on. Can't be that hard. Well, what did I do with my Tim Holtz flowers, Joy? What did I do with them? Anybody know? Huh? Anybody know what I do with my Tim Holtz flowers? Oh, my goodness. I got birds and butterflies. I got people. Well, I am not finding my Tim Holtz flowers. I don't know where they went. That is really strange, you guys. Honestly, I'm sort of concerned because where did I put those? Ow, I moved them to a new place. I reorged, remember? My goodness, I apologize. I hate to use up time looking for stuff. Makes me nuts, but I can't have everything on my desk. So I was gonna use some of these ladies on one, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So let me grab, I wanna grab, let's grab this pretty rose. Now, when you have lines like this, you wanna break your lines and you can do it with something that you place on the page. You'll notice I start it here to cover that break that that hard line now if I didn't like that hard line there I could use something like a doily to cover that let's say I could go like this smaller one though I think this is kind of too big yeah it absolutely is too big so let me see I think I have a half a doily over here I do Alrighty, so what we could do is we could go like this and put our, our rose here, top to bottom like that. We could cut this down a little bit if we feel like it's just a little too wide for this piece. Oh, oh you guys, I just cut two. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll use it somewhere. <laughs> And then we can go like that. Isn't that pretty? We could do pink. I think the pink would be too bright. Let me look. We could use gold, brown, whatever color we've got. Blue. No, I don't want blue. Do I have a half of those? One of these big pink ones? I don't think that would look good on there, honestly. It might be okay on there. Definitely don't want to have two or three of those, right? We only need one. For sure. Or we could use a tiny little, I have a little tiny, like a little one of these would go on here as well. And we could put that on there. Put the whole thing on there if you want, or you could put a half. You could use this, but we wouldn't use a lot of it. We would just use a little bit of it. And we would use the rows and put it on there. So we could do that. So you just want to break this hard line, whether you put something else behind it, whatever you want to put behind it. None of these will go to waste because, you know, I love to use doilies. I haven't been using them lately, but I always did. So let me pop these in here. And I'm going to ink this a little bit because I feel like it's just a little too white for this particular project. I could put a pretty lady back there. I could put a piece of net or tool. 
could use the snow tool back there. Put that up here. Let me see. Let me see if I have any that's easy to get to. I do. I just don't want a whole big piece. I want a little piece, but I don't know if I have a little one. I keep cutting pieces, you know, and then later I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all these little tiny pieces. What color is this? I think this is blue. No, I don't want blue. Definitely don't want blue. I want pink. But I think that's too little. Yep, too little. Alrighty, I'm cutting a piece, I guess. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. And do I want it on top or? Yeah, I think I do. All right, let's do this. So this is a really great way. You want to break up your hard line that you used when you put this on here. I usually use art glitter glue on this. And I'm going to kind of put that on that same line just a little bit over, move it up a little bit. Then I'm going to put some of this, I'm trying to figure out snow mesh, which we do have this in our shop if you need it. I don't know that we have any pink. I'm not real sure what we have right now. I know we have white. I just am not sure about the other colors. And then we're gonna put this down. And we've got, now we've given ourselves a bunch of layers, right? So let me give this a quick, because there is a little bit of a white outline around these. These are the Tim Holtz flowers. I don't know if he still does these. I mean, I have them from a long time and I probably should look it up see if they're still out there because I do use them quite a bit. Mm, I'm getting a sore throat. Hold on. My throat just closed up completely. <clears throat> kind of scared me a little bit there. I wasn't sure if I could breathe for a minute there. <clears throat> it is sunny today after all the rain and it is blooming crazy everything. Oh, I like that. See, simple, basic. Now there's a lot of space here, so I might want to add lace and add a word. You could add all that good stuff on there. Um, darn, I wish I, I don't think I only have a few more minutes. So my, my thing is, do I want to move on to the other one or do I want to finish this one? What should I do, guys? I don't know. You probably want to know how I would finish it, right? Uh, let's see trying to get stuff off my desk out of room. Let me see if I can find a quick little oh, piece of lace. Is this single? It is. Okay. You notice I use a lot of roses. I absolutely adore roses. They're my favorites. I grow them. I used to do competition roses, but that was in my younger years. I had some pretty good prize winning roses when my kids were little. Many, many years. I've always had rose bushes in every home I've ever lived in. I didn't have any growing up, but I loved roses. And my husband really got made me fall in love with him because every Valentine's Day and anniversary, he always gave me roses. So I fell in love with roses. I've always loved flowers and my grandma Horn. Well, you know what? Actually, I know where I fell in love with them. I shouldn't say that. My grandma Soda, which was my dad's mom, she, Portuguese, little Portuguese lady, uh, had roses all over her backyard. Big, beautiful, yellow climbing roses, prim roses. She had just the most gorgeous roses in her yard. And I remember playing out in the backyard with the other kids and looking at them. I've also fell in them a couple of times, you know, as you're playing with the boys and playing ball, whatever, and they shoulder you. And in the rose bush you go, I remember coming out bloody mess one time in Brewing My Pretty Dress at Easter while we were playing football on the back lawn at my grandma's house. The boys got a little rough. We had boy cousins and girl cousins and teams and by age and you know, there were a lot of us because my dad was one of 10. So 
everybody had three to four kids. So there was about 40 of us <laughs> at any given time. Plus other cousins who would come and visit from my grandma's sister. So we had cousins, you know, from that, my grandma's family. Not just her own kids, but her other ki her, her nieces and nephews. So, and then the other thing we can do is we could add a word down this side. Let's see if I have any vertical words. I mean, I do have them. I just don't know. Wonderful. Oh, that fits perfect. Let's do that. Let me ink that though. It's a little too pristine. I want to. Now, normally I would definitely put a piece of this behind it to give it dimension. So it's not just a flat word. <sighs> okay. Mm. I see something I don't want. Okay. This snow seems to be on both sides, so it's kind of, now you're gonna to wanna to use Fabri-Tac with the snow. Fabri-Fix, Fabri-Tac, three in one, whatever, like, or any other fabric type glue. Isn't that cute? So that's the beginning of that. Then if you wanted, you can go back and you can ink up some of these, depends on what color envelope you use. Now you can use old, mailers, you know, mailing envelopes, junk mail, junk envelopes, by all means, you can use that. But if you do that, uh, you will want to probably, okay, what, what happened here? Did this glue itself together? Yes. Oof. Okay. There we are. There we are. All right. Now you could go ahead and round your corners if you want to, and I'm going to round my top corners because I like that best. There we go. It doesn't seem so harsh that way, right? And we can ink all the edges. Now I've given you a lesson in decorating and layering, which I think you will find will come in handy later. This one you can cover the back too if you want and just keep it a standalone piece that you fill up with all kinds of goodies and treats or whatever you want to put in there. So there you have it. I think I would add some probably pearls maybe or something to this corner over here. I don't think I'm done yet. I think it needs a bit more something. I just don't know what that something is at this point. Sometimes I don't know until I go to put it in a journal or something like that. And then I'll know what else I might need. Um, Uh-oh. I feel like my bottle's leaking here. Oh my. That's not a good thing, right? Let's see I did refill it maybe just yuck I'm just feeling glue everywhere Ew. all right there we go so we have that one I know we're a few minutes over already I think or we're about to be oh Oh, glue everywhere. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just making a total mess with that. Let me get another one. Okay. And then we have these beautiful ladies, which I was thinking, where'd that other envelope go? Oh, there it is. There's my other envelope. I was thinking about putting one of these ladies on there. This one in particular. I like that this has that almost the exact same print on it. My thumb is stuck to the page. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you more stories about Easter, but I can't because we have to go. So we could put that on there like that, create another pocket. I'm not really sure what I want to do with that yet. I guess 
I will have to work with it a bit and see what I think. I know I'm going to want to do the corners no matter what, so I know I'll do that. I'll be adding lace and bling to this for sure. You know me. I have to vacuum my carpet. I have so many little paper boogers on my floor. And this needs to be inked all over. Oh, just a little bit, you know, just the edge because this is a coffee dyed paper, which I love. It's very antique looking. So I think that's great. I hate to lose the whole side, but then again, I love this with that. So I might cut it down in a couple places. Um, I might take a little bit of this down, make it a little bit smaller. I'm just really not sure what I want to do with it yet, but I will work on it. And I can show this to you in our next video, right? So I hope that's going to be okay. So this is the page wrap version. And this is the four pocket version. I better check our time, guys. I think we're done for the day. But I want to thank you for coming along and hanging out with me. Letting me play a little bit and show off the things I've been working on. And I really appreciate you watching and joining in the Stack Your Stash. I believe this is number maybe 11 or 12. I don't know. You'll have to look for it on the front. I I've forgotten. So this is what we did today. We've made all these lovely little... Uh, pockets that you can use on your journals and I hope that you will build your stash using these for those of you that need to build your stash and get going on it I'm right here get your things together get some envelopes and some papers and glue or tape and replay this video and hang out with me so I'll see you all very soon you guys I love you hugs and kisses bye bye <laughs>